In ancient times, you had to be very rich to earn pearls, and probably a king or queen. Elizabeth I of England was besotted with them. She owned 3,000 pearl-encrusted robes and 80 pearl-studded wigs. Kings of France and Tsars of Russia were no less flamboyant. The value of pearls was also reflected in religious paintings, both graphically and physically. This pearly Russian icon is of Our Lady of Kazan. All natural pearls, of course, accidents of nature, a one in a thousand shell chance. Pearls in those days were phenomenally expensive. I mean, they were so expensive that uh, in the Roman times they had to forbid commoners to wear pearls because they were so hard to get. So rare indeed that they were thought to have mystical properties. Indians prized them as aphrodisiacs. The Chinese craved their curative powers, while the ancient Greeks had this explanation for their existence. The pearls have been called the tears of the moon, and when the gods cried, the pearls were said to be their tears.